Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use spray on adhesive to stick things together. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have this Elmer's spray adhesive, and I'm gonna show you how to use something like this, whether it's this exact product or something very similar to stick things together. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it can bond to the materials that you're trying to stick together. So right here, you can see that this bonds on paper, canvas, cardboard, cork, and photos. You can, in my opinion, I mean, from my experience, you can pretty much use this spray on adhesive to bond basically anything together. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it just with this uh, piece of wood over here and some paper, very simple. Essentially, um, what you wanna do is you wanna figure out which of the materials you wanna spray. Some people will spray both of the materials that they wanna stick together. I only recommend spraying one. If you spray both, it takes a little bit longer to dry and it might give you a little bit of a stronger bond, but there's a higher chance that something is going to move in the process of it drying, right? Uh, within the drying time. But if you spray one material, then it gives you, uh, you know, a bond that is still strong, but it has a better chance of nothing moving. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that you're controlling your overspray. So you want to put something behind whatever it is, whatever material that you're spraying to prevent, you know, the adhesive, the glue from getting anywhere that you don't want it to be. So for myself, I'm just going to place this piece of wood on the grass. By placing it on the grass, that means that essentially, um, you know, the overspray is going to go on the grass. I'm fine with that. I have to mow the lawn. You can see it's quite long. So I'm just going to end up mowing it off probably tomorrow or the next day whenever I mow the lawn. But you can place a piece of cardboard or a scrap piece of newspaper underneath um, to sort of protect from overspray. So essentially you want to have your material um, in place that you want to spray and you want to have your other material which for myself is going to be uh, just a sheet of paper which I'll take out in a moment actually I'll take it out now I don't want it to fly away in case we get a gust of wind um, but you want to have that other material ready so just give me a moment what I have here sorry about that it actually just ripped but it's no big deal um, is a piece of paper I'm gonna place the lid on it like that so we're gonna spray one of the materials I'm gonna spray this piece of wood. I'm not gonna spray the whole thing because this is a scrap piece of wood. I'm probably gonna end up cutting it wherever I, I adhere the paper to and, and just using the rest. So I'm just gonna spray the end of it over here, okay? So I'm gonna spray it. Obviously make sure it's free of debris. Make sure there's nothing on it uh, blocking it. So essentially I'm going to spray it um, make sure you are spraying, you know, I'd say like a six to eight inches away from the actual material. So let's go ahead and let's spray this with the spray on adhesive. I'll give it some extra just to make sure we're getting a good bond. And then essentially we're going to take the second material, which is just this blank sheet of paper that I'm using for this demonstration, and we're going to place it down like that. And you want to hold it for um, about 30 seconds to a minute, I would say. So you want to place it down there, hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. Now, you can see, I, because I did put two sprays on there, it did slide a bit. It, it, is, it is staying in place now, like I'm moving it, but it takes a lot more force, but it did slide a bit. So, you know, it, you have to use your judgment on the level of bond that you want and how much you can hold it in place. But you want to hold it in place for 30 seconds to a minute, and you should get a bond that is quite strong, surprisingly strong, um, for just a spray-on adhesive. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm not going to obviously demonstrate myself holding it for 30 seconds because you know what that means. Keep your finger on it, keep your hands on it, keep something resting on it for 30 seconds to a minute, that's going to keep it in place. And you're going to get a strong bond. Even now already, it's already starting to bond quite well. You can see, like I'm pulling on it and it's barely, it's basically not coming off. As you can see over there, it's still it's just coming off a little bit with quite a bit of force. But when you let the glue, the spray on adhesive dry, you're going to get a really, really strong bond that is surprisingly stronger than, than you could probably have imagined that it would be. Um, yeah, and that's it. I mean, you know what? It's one of the most convenient ways to adhere things together, in my opinion. As long as you have the area to work and control the overspray, it is essentially one of the best ways to get things to stick together easily. Um, yeah, just control that overspray and make sure that you're not making a mess and getting glue uh, places that you don't want to get glue on. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.